Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Happy Birthday Adventure by Palfly Campling. You may be asking, why is an adventure's birthday on number 365? <laughs> this is not number 365. Well, it is January 18th, and the very first adventure premiered on January 18th of 2024. So there you go. It is our birthday. Um, we just weren't daily quite early on. We weren't quite daily. So uh, we, 365 does not bring us to a year. It brings us past a year. So anyway, today is adventure's birthday, and Palfly made a present for adventure, which is this puzzle, which says happy birthday on it. So pretty awesome. Uh, let's go over the rules. So in every row, every column, and every bold outlined region, this is an irregular Sudoku. So in every bold outlined region, we are placing the digits one to six exactly once each. Um, so instead of our normal boxes, we do have these irregular regions that are outlined in bold. In addition to that, we just have German whisper lines. So adjacent digits along the German whisper line have to um, have a difference of at least three. So if this cell here were a one, then this cell, this cell, and this cell all need to be uh, at least three away from the one. So this could be like four, five, five, for example. That would be fine. Um, these are not adjacent on the line. Don't get confused. If I put a two here, this is not restricted by the two because there's no line between them. Um, so it's just as you move along the line. Uh, if you think about that, it's adjacent along the line, not adjacent that happen to be on lines. So anyway, those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. All right, so I wonder if there's a regular stuff we can do here. Yes, there is. So these two cells here, let's mark that in blue. Where do the blue cells go in row one? This is a nice irregular trick here. Well, they can't repeat. Whatever the blue cells are, they can't repeat in this region, right? So they can't be here in this row. So they have to go over here. And what we've learned from that is one of them is a one. And this one looks up and says it's not this one. So we can actually place a one right here. And actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reuse my blue for another purpose. I'm going to use my blue to be low. Low digits are one, two, three. And high digits, which I'm going to use orange for, are four, five, six. Now, how do I know that these are the colorings? Well, adjacent digits along a, a German whisper line have to have a difference of at least three. And if I'm starting at one, two, three, if I'm starting at a low digit, I can't subtract three, so I have to add three. And by adding three, I am putting myself into the four, five, six range. And then from four, five, six, I can't add three, so I need to subtract three, putting me back in the one, two, three range. So all of these are from four, five, six, and all of these are from one, two, three. Now these are obviously aren't one. Now let's think about this cell. This cell will be next to a three, because this is a two, three pair. One of them will be three, and this will be next to it. The only digit that can go next to three is a six on a German whisper line because nothing else is at least three away. So this is not a six. One can be next to anything, though. So these aren't restricted. And again, these don't restrict each other. These don't restrict each other. Uh, these are both orange, because we need three blues and three oranges in every row, column, and uh, in region in this case. So that's a four or five pair. Now we know this is orange, so this ends up blue, and this ends up orange. So this blue is from two, three, which means it, since it can't be one, this can't be a four. So we get the five and the four here. So this is not 5 because it shares a region with this 5. And in fact, where does 5 go in this column? It's not in any of these four cells, so the 5 goes there. And now, uh, I'm not sure if that 5 does much. Hmm. Okay, we'll keep looking. Uh, maybe it's this B here. Okay. Um, this is interesting, actually. Look what's happening here. Because these see the 1 and they see this 2, 3. Um, there is one low on here. So this is, this is the low that isn't this 1 or this 2, 3. Now the question we can ask is, can it be a 3? If I put a 3 here, what goes here? It can only go a 6 and the 6 is gone. Okay, so that's not a 3. Well, what if this was the 3? Well, it has the same issue with this cell. This cell can't be 6. And so we can't actually put a 3 up here. We can't put a 1 up here. So one of these two is a 2. And actually, we can say whichever one's a 2 will be next to a 5, because it can't be next to a 6, and it can't be next to a 4, because 2 and 4 is only 2 difference. So that's a 2-5 pair, making this a 3, and that a 2. Um, that makes this a pair. This is a 3-4 pair. Okay, so 3 and 4 is a little bit special, because, again, they only have one partner. The 3 can only partner with the 6, and the 4 can only partner with the 1. Well, it's not partnering with the 1. The 1's right there. So this has to be a 3, and this has to be a 6. That's a 4. Let's color these. These are high, and that's low. 
Uh, so this has to be low, and it's not one or two, so that's a three. So we get a three six three German Whisper. Interesting. This is a four. It's high. Um, okay, so what did we learn here? We learned this is a pair. This is a one six pair. And actually, um, can we do this? Okay, we know that we know that one of these is low, and we know that that's low. And so, and we know that one of these is high and that's high. So the, this is a low high pair, but I don't know that we can tell which way it goes yet. Um, okay, we'll hold off on that then. Three in this, ah, uh, three in this region, right? This three looks in, this three looks down. So three is in one of these two, but can it really be here? And the answer is absolutely not. <laughs> we would end up with three sixes in this column. Uh, we, we, <laughs> we can't do that. So the three goes there, that's a two. Three is low, and now we know this has to be high. Even if the two weren't here, we'd know this has to be high because we're out of the lows, the ones here, right? So this is low, this is high. That means this has to be low and this has to be high. So we get the one and the six here. And that continues here. This is high and this is low. So this is, there's only one low left in this column. That's a one. This is high. So we end up with a four, five, six here. Let's just start by filling that. But this is next to a two, so it's definitely not four, and that's not five. This is also next to a 2, so it's not 4. So there's only one place for 4 in the column. Nice. Um, this region needs a 4. This 4 looks in, this 4 looks in. That's not a 4. So the 4 goes here, and it's high. Not much surprise that there's no 4 on here, but there we go. Um, in fact, think about this. There's only one high left in this column. The 4 and 6 are gone. So we have to make the middle one a 5, because we can't, we can't do two more highs here, right? So these are all low. And that does tell us the order of all of this. And we should be able to just finish now. Uh, five can't be next to three. So this is a one-two pair. The three goes there. Uh, this is the two, this is the one, because we had the one here. We can fill all these out. Let's get these colors before we accidentally finish the puzzle first. That would be awful. All right. <laughs> so that's a six. That's a two. This is a three. That makes that a two. This is a six, and now we're done. All right. Phew, we almost finished before coloring. <laughs> thanks, Balfly. Thank you for the birthday present to Adventure, and thanks for actually uh, realizing we needed a birthday present so soon. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks again. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you've enjoyed the whole past year adventure. I'd like to thank all of the setters. Uh, I'm not going to list them all. Uh, there's been a lot of setters to Adventure, but thank you to everyone who stuck by me, who set for Adventure at some point. Thank you to everyone who's let me know if you've solved every single adventure. I'd love to know that in the comments. Have you solved a year's worth of adventure at this point? Um, and of course, if you enjoyed this, then why don't leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.